Hello, welcome to the channel. Today you're going to learn how to download and install mods for Farming Simulator 2022. I'm going to teach you the popular way of installing mods, which is kind of the easier way and the one that you will use if you're in console or if you want to download some light mods on PC. And I'm also going to teach you the harder way to install mods, which is like the manually way. But doing it the manual way, you'll be able to download more custom content and some better mods that you might not be able to download using the easier way. So make sure you stay around to learn how to download and install mods for Farming Simulator 22 using the popular and the not so popular popular way out there. Let's get started. Okay, so the first way to add the mods, which is the most popular and the easier way to add mods, is just to open the game up and click here where it says downloadable content. Once you're here, you can search for the mods that you want. Let's say that you want to add a map. For example, let's say that you want to add No Man's Land. You want to have a little challenge. Just click on search and type No Man's Land and that will come up as you can see here. We click on it and then we click install down here. For example, in this case, I already have No Man's Land, but let's say you want to install some other map, a map that I don't have, for example, this one. You just come over here and you click install and then it's going to let you know that this map or mod was added to the download list. Go ahead and click on OK. And you could click here on this little arrow to see the mods that you are downloading at the moment. And once these mods are fully installed, they will show here in your install folder. And if ever any of these mods needs to be updated, you're going to click here on this little circle. And this is going to show you the mods that need to be updated. For example, right now I need to update Lumberjack. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and I'm going to select update right here on the bottom left. And that is going to update the mod for you. And to use these mods in game is really simple. Let's say that you want to use it in a server. Just click on multiplayer, create a new server. And once you do that, select whatever game mode you're using. And then it's going to let you choose the mods that you want to add to the server. As you can see here, you can select all of them or you could deselect all of them or just use the ones that you want to add to the server. And then just click continue and create your server as usual. If you want to add these mods to your local game, just click on career and same process. Just select whatever game mode and whatever map you're using and then just add the mods in here the same way. But OK, how do you add mods that are not in game, right? Let's say that you want to add some mods, but they're not here in the game. How do you find those? Let me show you. If you click on the first link in the description, we do have a written guide on how to download and install mods manually, how to find the files and add them to your mods folder. But in here, if you come to that first link in the description, the main thing is to click on this link right here, farmingsimulator.com. That is going to redirect us over here to this website, which is one of the most popular websites for downloading mods. I'm not really sure, but I think it's an official website by Farming Simulator. And in here, if you click mods right here, you're going to be able to find some extra mods that you might not be able to find in game and you could download them through here and follow the process that I'm about to show you. Feel free to use whatever websites you want. I know there's a lot of websites out there. The reason we're going to be using this one for this tutorial is because I know this is a safe website, but feel free to explore and find whatever websites you want and that is up to you. Anyways, how do we get the mods from the website to our game? That is pretty simple. Let me show you. Let's say, for example, that you want to keep track of your trees, right? You want to see how long it's going to take for your trees to fully grow and you want to add three growth manager. Just select the mod that you want and in whatever website you're using, there's going to be a download button for the zip file. In this case, it's pretty straightforward. It says zip file download. But in whatever website that you choose, you have to make sure that you have a zip file download and that you know what version of the mod you're downloading. For example, I know in here that I'm downloading it for FS22. That is very important to know because only FS22 mods are compatible with Farming Simulator 22. We cannot add yet Farming Simulator 19 mods to Farming Simulator 22. So you have to make sure that you are downloading the right version of the mod. In this case, we do have the right version. So I'm going to go ahead and click download and that is going to ask me where I want to download the mod. Now, if you have this option enabled, then great, because you can select the folder where we need to add the mods directly. But I'm going to assume you don't have this option enabled. And when you hit download, it's going to start downloading the file automatically. So let's go ahead and click on save. And as you can see, the file starts downloading here in the bottom left. Let's assume that's the way it was for you. What do you do next? I'm going to drop this file into the desktop for easier use. I'm going to show you real quick. Let me make this smaller and let's drop this into the desktop. And now we could close the browser that we used to download the mods. Now we could close from the browsers and we're going to open a folder. Now, once we open a folder, for example, in this case, I open this PC, we're going to find our documents. As you can see, the documents come right up in here. But if you don't see them up here, you could look for it here on the left. As you can see, documents showing here as well. We're going to click on it. And then in here, we're going to look for a folder called my games. As you can see right here, I have my games folder right there. And then we're going to look for Farming Simulator 22. As you can see, Farming Simulator 2022 is right here. And in here, there's a lot of folders, but don't freak out. You're just looking for a folder called MODS mods. As you can see right here, I have it right here mods folder. You're going to open that up. Most likely for you, there is no mods in here. As you can see, I have a bunch of mods installed already. But when you come over here, you might not have any mods at all. Also, if you come over here to this folder and the mods folder doesn't come up, just right click, click new and create a new folder called MODS. You could create this folder yourself in case it's not here. Anyways, once we have that folder open, we're going to drag and drop our file into that folder. In this case, it's a three growth manager. 
I'm going to drop it in and once the file is here we're good we could close this and open the game. Now there's a chance that this mod doesn't show in game and that is because you have to make sure that inside the zip file for this mod you have the right folder right so we're going to open the zip file and we have to make sure that we have all of this in here it should be something really similar it should say scripts and stuff but if you open the mod zip file and when you get there all you see is another zip file that means that that is a file that has the mods and you have to get that zip file out of here for example if you open the mod zip file and what you see is something like this right let's say that you see one of these that means that you have to drag that folder out because that is the folder that has the mods in you cannot have a zip file inside another zip file i don't know if i'm explaining myself properly here but pretty much what you need to have is a zip file with all the files inside just like this when i open any of these mods as you can see they all have the files in there you don't have another zip file inside if you do drag that zip file out because that is the one that has the mods anyways once we drop the zip file in here we could go ahead and launch farming simulator again and once the game has loaded we're going to check for the mod that we just added the same way that we checked earlier go to downloadable content and in here click on install mods and as you can see the first mod that comes up is three growth manager because it was added successfully if you are wondering what mods to download i do recommend that you download lumberjack lumberjack is a mod that will allow you to lift and carry heavy stuff and i pretty much use it a lot especially when the tractor or the big trucks get stuck i use lumberjack to fix the tractor without having to reset the whole vehicle so i just grab it and move it out wherever it got stuck and that is a good mod to start using because it's going to help you out a lot another good mod that i have it's the field grow stage as well as additional field info i have this one which gives me extra info on the fields like how much money i'm gonna get out of them and i also have field grows stage as you can see right here let me see if i could find it for you guys as you can see i have grows stage info for the crops which lets me know how many more months i'm going to need before that crop is ready to harvest which is amazing especially for us who are beginners into the game and don't have it memorized this is a great mod because it's going to let you know how long before you can harvest your crops and there's a lot of other mods fun mods to play with I'm still discovering new mods, so if you have any mods that you could recommend me, let me know down in the comments. I hope this tutorial was useful, and as always, bye bye.